So if you've just come back from your wintertime botanizing, and you're pretty cold and tired, and you just can't stand tromping around in the foot deep snow anymore, a great place to go to look at fruiting parts, at leaves, at stems, at all these different botanical parts is your local grocery store. raspberries and blackberries. Now, there's a very distinct difference between raspberries and blackberries. So before we talk about the difference between raspberries and blackberries, let's talk about the similarities. They're both what's known as aggregate fruits, which means they're made up of an aggregate of many different parts. In this case, the little parts are called droplets. So a peach would be something that you would call a droop. It's got a hard core with a seed inside and then a fleshy outside. In this case, they're just made of a very, very tiny versions of that. So aggregate of droopets is what the, both the raspberry and the blackberry are made of. So talking about the differences now between the raspberry and the blackberry, the main difference that you'll see is in what's called the receptacle. So where the receptacle, or modified, uh, modified stem, you could say, of where the flowering parts usually meet on the stem, that receptacle is not there in the ripened raspberry. When it falls off, the receptacle stays in the plant. With the blackberry, you can see, I can't possibly get it over my finger because the receptacle is still there, right? It doesn't, it persists on the mature fruit, so it leaves the stem of the plant. So to recap, both aggregate fruits, the blackberries and the raspberries, the blackberry, you can see the receptacle stays on and falls off with the fruit when it's mature. With the raspberry, that receptacle stays in the plant and you end up with this empty little cap when the flute is finally mature.